Well, the Juvenile Justice Project is a clinical program at the law school that primarily serves juveniles who have been accused of committing crimes and it also serves the victims of those crimes. Early on, um, there was a group that got together and were very concerned about juvenile issues and how we treated juveniles and whether or not there was another way to listen to young people's problems other than just going into the courtroom or sending them to detention or sending them to a youth development center. Well, the Juvenile Justice Project is a, based on a theory of restorative justice instead of retributive justice. And what I mean by that is we focus not on punishment, but on understanding what harm has come to people through criminal activity. And then we give people an opportunity to come in and sit down with us and talk about how they've been hurt or if they're the offender, how they've offended. Gives the offenders a chance to admit responsibility for a crime and begin to learn more about the people that they've offended against and how they've hurt them. You may have some single parent homes, um, some children who are dealing with poverty issues, um, nothing that they can really control. They're doing the best that they can with what they've been given. The Division of Juvenile Justice is based on treatment, education, and community services. And Campbell University Law School Project is certainly one of our community partners. When they're having a dispute and we've um, kind of exhausted our ability to help the kids um, solve the disagreement, um, we can contact the folks at Campbell and then they come out and process with the kids to help them figure out how to make it right. When we are kids, we do things that may not necessitate going to court, which is costly to North Carolina, or may not necessitate having a punishment vetted, but instead can sit down and talk to both parties. There can be payment back, there can be um, community service, there can be a real talking, but the other thing that it teaches is it teaches anger management and it gives you some conflict resolution without having the courts involved or without going through law enforcement or having an expensive process. Some of the kids go, a lawyer? You want me to talk to a lawyer? Am I in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. We just need your help. I knew when I came to law school that I wanted to work with juveniles, um, specifically kids that had been involved in the criminal justice system or that were likely to become involved in the system for whatever reason. All of a sudden they're just like, oh I wanted to come and talk to you, I wanted an intervention or can you call those people from Campbell to help me out again, I need to talk this out or I want to tell this person how I'm feeling but I don't want to go up to them because I don't want them to think that I'm trying to fight them. The cool thing about the Juvenile Justice Project is they can really help the kid peel back the layers um, and help get to the real root of what's going on. You just smile and your heart just kind of melts because you see that this program worked for your kids. 